Hi Leo, Narai here. Please excuse the lighting. I normally do my readings early in the day and I did not have enough time this morning so I'm doing it late in the evening and my lighting is way off. So my name is Narai and I'm going to do a reading for you guys. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. And then take what fits and leave the rest. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Messages and guidance for Leo, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Leos, please and thank you. This lighting is bothering me, so I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's bearable for you guys. Wow, I didn't even shuffle the cars. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what do we have for Leo? I feel like this is going to be quick. I could be wrong. Messages and guidance for Leo, please and thank you. I have somebody full of worry or feeling a sense of lack. Or left out in the cold um, this could be you this could be someone else um, when I see this it just it makes me think of somebody that was involved with somebody and like kicked out of the house maybe you guys kicked someone out um, or moved out from living with somebody because of how things were and then I have the seven of Pentacles it could have been a person um, that you really invested a lot of time and energy into and put a lot of work into the relationship or friendship um, sometimes friends move in together and then they're not friends later I will never move in with a friend that's a no-no for me for some of you it may work out for others of you it possibly won't or didn't um, But with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a person knowing that something is going to be hard work. Um, and maybe you're in a situation where you kind of are worried about the effort that you're putting into something. And is it really going to pay off for you? Is it going to grow into something? Because you don't want to put your time and energy into a situation that's not going to develop into something. Spirit, what messages? Thank you. It's a relationship. It's a relationship with somebody um, that you think is marriage material or somebody may think you're marriage material. I feel like this is you guys. Like this, you want... Ooh... I'm sensing, I'm sensing like people that actually want to have kids, um, wanting something stable with someone. And I feel that here there's like worry. And I know I said what I did earlier that could still apply to some people. It, all of the reading doesn't have to resonate with you. Just know what's yours and what isn't. Um, but here I still feel like there's a bit of worry about the en the effort and work being put into something. And it could have to do with the relationship. But I have the, eight of, the Ace of Swords. And this is um, like a new, um, some sort of mental clarity that you get. Uh, possibly seeing something from a different angle or perspective. And I say that because of the winding stairs. Um, it's like the stairs go really high and you can look down way far down. So it's like looking at things from a different angle or perspective. A different point of view. It's like you have an epiphany and you're like, oh, wow. So that's what's happening. 
So let's continue. Messages and guidance for Leo, please. And as far as the Empress card, I I almost feel like somebody's like really protective of themselves and theirs, like the people like this person is protective of themselves and protective of the people in their life. This is what I'm sensing in this particular reading. And then I have the Six of Wands. Um, all eyes could be on you at this point. Maybe you're getting recognized for something. Or you're noticing. This could be you recognizing something in someone else. Um, this could be you guys recognizing something within yourselves too. But for the Six of Wands, this is... I, I'm getting like somebody's getting praises for like a job well done. Maybe somebody recently got a raise or recognized at work. And I'm actually feeling success like somebody's doing something um, that has them in the public eye and people are watching them, but they're being really successful at what it is that they're doing. And it could be also with the Empress card, there's things that you're going to manifest and you're going to be successful at them. I feel like the, the Empress is a manifester also. So I have the strength card. This is about you guys being gentle and compassionate and having unconditional love for yourself. Um, it can be for people in your life as well. But this is being strong enough to be vulnerable as well, not just strong enough to hold feelings back because it takes a lot of strength and courage to be vulnerable, to stand up for yourself to walk away from somebody that's not treating you well. All of that takes courage. Having boundaries takes courage. And then I have the three of wands. This is about you guys not just planning, but taking action. I don't even know why I looked at that. I need two more cards, Spirit, just two more cards, and I will end the reading. Fill two, one or two more cards. Messages and guidance for Leo. Mm. I have the Knight of Wands. This is you guys being passionate in regards to something. I see this as you guys having fun. I also see this as somebody impulsive. This could be somebody moving towards you that's impulsive or that likes to be the life of the party. Maybe this is something you're going to do different for yourself. Get out. Be kind of spur of the moment, not necessarily impulsive, but kind of getting out of your own comfort zone. And kind of like letting your hair loose, letting your hair down. Spirit, I ask for one more card, please. Thank you. And I have the King of Cups. This is about you guys being mature. Being emotionally stable, emotionally mature, being able to have that communication. Um, this is about you guys meditating and taking the time to think about your feelings and being able to maturely have a conversation in regards to how you feel. In regards to how you feel. 
So there may be a situation that's full of emotion for you. Um, and instead of you just blurting everything out, it may be wise to take a little time and to process your thoughts and feelings before actually having a conversation um, to ensure that things are not said the wrong way. Because if in a relationship or dealing with someone else, uh, especially on a personal or intimate level, and even professionally, um, you don't want the things to be taken the wrong way because that can totally ruin a relationship, that can totally um, affect a job or a raise. Um, so this is in regards to sitting um, with your emotions and thinking about what you're saying before you say it and being able to properly and maturely get out what you need to get off of your chest and i'm pulling the card from the top oh my god that's going to close out cycles for some of you and i feel like the reason being is because some of you just blurt stuff out not thinking of how it can be taken possibly you know what's yours i don't um and it could be because some of you just get impulsive about your feelings but take these with a grain of salt, you know what's yours and what isn't. And if you can read in between the lines and see something that I didn't say, by all means do that. But this is about you guys closing out cycles. Or completing, completing cycles. This is the world card. <laughs> she looks so happy in this card. I love it. For some of you, this may actually impact your ability to travel in regards to a job so that's what i have for you i have worry about work that's being put into something it could be a relationship for others of you it could be a job i feel like there's no need to worry if you know you're doing what needs to be done on your end that's all that you're truly responsible for um, so if you have a situation that you're feeling really emotional about, um, or that you have a lot of feelings in regards to, I will just say, take your time and sit with your thoughts. Think of what you're going to say and make sure you say things tactfully, um, so that there's no way that they can be taken out of context or wrong. Um, and be calm when you have that communication. Not so calm that it's scary, because it's scary for some people. Um, but I feel like, I feel like this could be good for you, Leo. Keep nurturing yourself and um, be patient and compassionate with yourself. You guys, oh my God, I just realized you came out in your own reading. The strength card is Leo. So there you go. I'm truly done. So I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I, I apologize for the lighting, but I love you guys. And until next time, bye.